Well, there is the Polish boxer preparing to contest this semi-final. That is Martina Jancelowicz. And her opponent, Bustra Isildar. Jancelowicz. Preparing for her first bout of the tournament. Only six boxers comprise the women's 81 kilogram light heavyweight tournament bracket. Ganbod Badrak, the referee from Mongolia, just checking the equipment of Jan Chelowitz. And in a few moments' time, he'll call both boxers to center ring. Here is Busra Isildar, 19 years of age yesterday. One on a second round stoppage in her quarterfinal against Kushri. Both boxers come in highly decorated. And this, a rematch from the 2019 European Youth Semi-Final at plus 81 kilograms. So these two boxers know one another very well indeed. So how much significance will that previous encounter in the Continental Championships have for this one. And Busra letting her hands go with terrific frequency and ferocity. Busra Isildar to begin this contest. Tucking up tightly is Jan Chelowitz and continuing her forward march. She looking to get to work with her own hooks on the inside at mid-range and short range. Terrific punch output from Isildar to begin this opening round, but still bustling her way forward is Jan Chelowitz. She takes a stiff left, right, shakes her head as if to say, I'm going to keep on coming, and she's doing exactly that. What a start to this 81 kilogram light heavyweight semi final. Good work to both body and head from Isildar. Good defense, though. Because tucking up behind high-held gloves is Jan Chelowitz. Good work to the body. Left, right, left landed by Jan Chelowitz. And she looks for that left hand beneath the right elbow of Isildar once again. Not much accuracy during the course of that exchange, but the lead left hand on the resumption was an accurate shot from Isildar. And how about that for a spearing one-two, getting between the gloves of the peekaboo defense being erected by Jan Chelowitz. Jan Chelowitz continuing to walk her opponent down and looking for shots beneath her elbows to both sides of Isildar's torso. So midway through the opening round, and my goodness, it has been non-stop punching so far. Good left hand landed to the body by Jan Chelowitz. Isildar looking to establish her straight punches on the back foot. And how about that for a left-right success from Jan Chelowitz? Uppercut through the middle from the woman in red. Good work to the body while Isildar was taking a breather. Nice spin off the line from Isildar and then nice dipping at the knees in the pocket. Jan Chelowitz looking to employ her own effective defensive movement. Inside the final minute. Now Jan Chelowitz simply will not be denied walking down her opponent but running into punches. That left-right combination just causing her to stop in her tracks. Physical at close range. Neither boxer heeding the instruction of the referee. Solid right hand landed twice in quick succession by Jan Chelowitz. But look at the response it brings about from Isildar. So 10 second clap of sounds at the conclusion of what has been a frenetic first three minutes in this 81 kilogram light heavyweight semi-final. What an opening round, my goodness. And it's Isildar who has taken it across the board, 10-9 for four of the five judges. Make no mistake for my money. Jan Chelowitz was right in that. Didn't win it for, my, for what it's worth, from my perspective, but 
She was very competitive indeed, trying to stay on the chest of her opponent right from the opening bell. Second health piece. Rounds two. Well, when these two box met, boxes met in the 2019 European Championship Youth Semi final at plus 81 kilograms. It was Isildar who prevailed on her way to championship gold. Jan Celowitz had to settle for a bronze. Remember, both of these boxers guaranteed bronze medals here. So Jan Celowitz looking to turn the tables and get some competitive revenge for the setback she suffered two years ago at the same stage of the Continental Tournament. But she's being picked off by some accurate straight shots as she's trying to get inside the longer arms of Isildar, who is maintaining a terrific punch output and showing wonderful variety as well. Jan Celowitz keeps on coming. Jan Celowitz. But look at that jab on the resumption from Isildar. Bobbing and weaving on the ropes is Isildar. Left hand not too far away, but there's a cracking left jab. But then Jan Celowitz comes forward with a left jab of her own. Physical at close range. Oh, solid right hand landed by Jan Celowitz. Isildar looking to box off the back foot, trying... Jan Celovitz trying to pin her to the ropes. Solid left jab landed by the woman in red as she tucked up tightly and goes looking for an uppercut on the inside. Couldn't quite find the range. Solid left jab landed twice in quick succession by Isildar, but Jan, Jan Celovitz keeps on coming. So just over a minute to go in the third and final round here. Jan Celovitz remaining in the pocket. Looking for mid and short range success. But Isildar, her punch output really is remarkable. Jan Celovitz though continues her forward march looking to walk down her opponent. Skipping with the feet of both boxers, Jan Celovitz looking to bob and weave her way in. She takes another left jab, then a right cross. Her right hand around the corner was long. Digs down her left hand to the body, but does Jan Celovitz. Final 30 seconds of the second round. So perhaps as much respite as we've had from punching during the course of this contest so far as the two boxers walk one another around the ring, but now the usual pattern resumes and it's Isildar who's just letting her punches go in incessant fashion and finding the chin of Jan Celovitz. Jan Celovitz continuing to bite down on her gum shield and come forwards, hard right hand landed right on the belt from Isildar. Another round of practically non-stop punching, enough to give Isildar a una another unanimous clean sweep of the cards. So she in a commanding position as we prepare to enter the third and final round. Some of the action from that second three-minute round. Second out, please. Round three. So into the third and final round then. And the woman in red needs an immense final three minutes and she may well find it if she continues to land thunderous right hands like that. Looping roundhouse right, catching Isildar on the side of the head. And that is what she needs, and that is why she has come out bombing with that backhand. Isildar, though, momentarily troubled by that, but look at the, how quickly she has regained her composure. 
Boxing stance back beneath her. And looking to score as Jan Celovic continuing to crash away with that right cross. And there's another success with it. But she's warned for punching incorrectly with the inside of the glove rather than the correct knuckle part of the glove. But there is plenty of leverage behind that loaded backhand that Jan Celovic has used effectively in the first minute of this final round. Looking for the same shot once again, but couldn't find a range. But how about that for a fuse a lot of unanswered punches from Isildur. Incredible conditioning demonstrated by these two athletes and the punch output. Remember, we're in the 81 kilogram light heavyweight division and they're going at it as though they are light flyweights. Absolutely remarkable. So nice defensive maneuver from Isildar to evade the left jab. The left, the right hook attempted by Isildar was blocked by the left hand of Jan Celovic. Increasing amounts of clinching now, punctuating the action. Oh, that's a solid right hand once again, landed by Jan Celovic. Can she keep the attack going to maintain the pressure on Isildar? The right hook attempted was long. It landed with the forearm onto the glove of the woman in blue. Isildar with a beautiful right hand and then brought a left uppercut through as well. Nice left jab landed by Isildar. Her back to the rope. She's inviting pressure, pressure and that's why she skipped out of there. Jan Celovic just backing up momentarily, but now steps back into the firing line once again. Isildar just not finding the range on that attempted one too as Jan Celovic comes around the corner with a hard right hand once again. And both boxers feeling the pace of this contest deep into the third and final round. It's been fought at an absolutely terrific clip. High intensity between these two familiar rivals. 10 second clap up indicates that we're in the closing stages of the third and final round and both boxers continuing to let the leather fly to conclude this 81 kilogram light heavyweight semi-final. Nice to see that sporting touch of gloves to conclude the contest. And one suspects it will be Isildar, who will be going through to contest championship gold here at the expense of Martina Jancelowicz of Poland. Absolutely sensational punch output from both boxers, particularly Busra Isildar of Turkey. Practically non-stop punching over the duration of the three three-minute rounds and her accuracy and activity enough to get her the nod. But of course, we need official confirmation to see who will be going through to the gold medal bout. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by unanimous decision is the boxer from the blue corner, Isildar Busra. So Busra Isildar, absolutely ecstatic at having booked her place in the gold medal bout here at Kielce 2021. The continental youth champion up in their heavyweight division at plus 81 kilograms, now through to the final of the global competition here. After a unanimous points decision victory,